What's going on, guys? Back again with another video. In today's video, I'm here with my guy Adam. Uh, we've been working together for a couple months now, and uh, his story is just inspiring. I had to share it with you guys. And we, you know, he he's been he was in a really interesting position, and now he's a closer. And in just two weeks, landing his position, right? And he, he's been able to make how much is it again in, in two weeks? But 3,400 in, in commission. Okay, 3,400 commission in two weeks, just landing straight up. And yeah, man, um, the main thing is, you know, I'll give you the floor, you know, um, just introduce you, to the, introduce you to the other guys on like, who are you? Who are you? Where do you find me? And essentially, like, how has it been? Yeah, absolutely, bro. So um, I'm 18 years old. I just graduated high school about a year ago. And yeah. I was kind of going through um, about August time where everyone started going to school. Yeah. I had an opportunity to go into sales with a family friend and everyone told me I'd be good at it and everything. I never really thought much of it. But there was always yeah. like this inner talk that I had behind uh, behind my head that told me, hey, get into sales. You know, everyone's going to college and everything. You have something in the back of my head. I always had it. So mm -hmm. I was there with a the company for about seven months, eight months. And then yeah. within the middle of that seven months, I came across one of Elijah's TikToks, one of his videos in the regards of high ticket sales and yeah, all yeah. that cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think much of it. I was just like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Move on. Yeah, yeah. Kept living my life. And the job I was working at, the sales job, it was amazing, but it was a nine to five. Yeah, I yeah. didn't, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Mm -hmm. And so over time, I got mentally drained. I was stuck in this office. I took looked at my life. I did. I wasn't living the life I wanted to live. And so, um, the following days go by, and I run into another Elijah's TikToks again. I, yeah, that's when yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. um, this guy's still going at it. This guy's really okay. Maybe let me see. Let me see what he's all about. Shoot him a text. Hop on a call. And his homie Homero, shout out to that guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He hopped on the phone. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he, you know, he had a straight up conversation with me and mm -hmm. three, three G's in my head. I was just like, oh, OK, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm not really where I want to be right now financially. Yeah, um, yeah. I just I, I don't think I don't have the money, uh, but mm -hmm. I put up a smoke screen, really, to yeah, just yeah. say I was living something else. But in reality, mm -hmm. I wasn't. I was lying to myself up until that point. I was lying to myself yeah. and I had to come to the realization after that call I didn't get into the mentorship. I didn't go full through. Yeah. But the night of, I kind of really had that same self-talk in the back of my head mm -hmm. where it was just like, Adam, you need to make a change in your life right now. Because as of right now, yeah, your sales is pretty good at the company, but it's not really going anywhere. Yeah, and yeah. if it is going to go somewhere, it's going to be later down in a couple of years. But the amount of time I'm going to waste at such a young age, I don't yeah. want to do that. So I texted the guys. I said, hey, look, uh, this situation, I have this, I have, uh, you know, my rent I have to pay. Yeah. And um, and so I, at the time, I only had a certain amount of money to my name. Yeah. yeah. And so I had, I made the, I made the investment. Yeah. Um, and they made it work for me in, in a specific way, which I'm very, very grateful for. Mm. And at that time, I didn't have Wi-Fi in my house. I wow. didn't really have a desk. I didn't have anything. I just had this old school uh, laptop that I yeah. had and I had, I didn't know what to work with. So I would go as soon as I got to work from 8 a.m. all the way to five, I would go to a coffee shop and I worked yeah. my ass off, study the course. I had the Wi-Fi there until yeah. the, the coffee shop would kick me out. You know what I mean? I, you know, they would kick me out and be like, oh, come on, let me just, you know, let me do this for a couple more minutes. And they were cool because I kind of knew them. Yeah. yeah and yeah. so they normally close around like 7 30, uh -huh. uh, which was pretty late for that. So that was awesome. Uh -huh. And um, then I, they, I would leave that place and then I would go to Starbucks and Starbucks closes yeah. at nine. Yeah. And so yeah. I'd work my ass off and study as much as I possibly can when it comes to objection handling, yeah, when yeah. it comes to setting, when it comes to just to understand the whole. The, the whole business. business. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm very thankful because Elijah has it designed specifically for you to be able to track where you need to go, when this needs to be done, and how you're going to do it. And mm -hmm. with his uh, program, I was with your program, bro. I was able to just make that happen. I was, I mean, I sacrificed a solid three weeks doing that. 
You know, I didn't have yeah. any Wi-Fi here in my house. I, I didn't have yeah. enough funds for that. So I had to go to the coffee shops and, and work my ass off. People were looking at me crazy and yeah. hearing the audio and everything, you know, but, you know, yeah. I just, I was locked in. I yeah. was locked in. I knew what I had to do. You were able, the program was able to sharpen my vision to know where I really wanted. Yeah. And so when it comes to my other job with sales, I worked my ass off because I knew that I had to make a, I had to make a change. Mm. So I was working my ass off on the weekdays and the weekends. I, yeah. my friends wanted to hang out. I have friends that are not really like-minded. They wanted to go yeah, clubbing. Yeah. They wanted to do this. I'm sorry. I got to just focus this. I'm going to be say up late mm-hmm. at this ghetto coffee shop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but yeah. And then I had everything taken care of. And it got to a point in the, in the program where I started outreaching and really yeah, looking yeah. for a closer position. Yeah, and yeah. so I went, I outreached for different positions. I went through Facebook. I went through Instagram. I went through Twitter. I went through everything. I went through yeah, yeah. interview after interview after interview. Yeah. I hopped on some sketchy, uh, yeah. <laughs> sketchy yeah, I businesses. Those, ones. those are not, yeah. This, uh, <laughs> exactly. Not really See, I learned the lessons. You guys were able to make that clear for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, it's just a matter of just putting yourself out there, making that mm-hmm. step forward. And that's what I did. And, uh, you know, it, it took a, a a good amount of interviews and, and businesses. And I finally yeah. landed, I landed one solid one. Yeah. Uh, it was almost too good to be true, but they're yeah. really out there. It's just a matter of putting in the reps to really yeah. know and what think, you want. Yeah. I think the, the other thing exactly that, um, for you, Adam, is like, yeah, you know, you needed to put the work in, right? I mean, I get, a lot of people, mm-hmm. there's this thing is, you know, they would join a program and, you know, they think, everything's going to solve, be solved. The problem's going to be solved. And then they think, oh, after I put maybe a couple of weeks of work and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Right. And then they, they think they're going to get to the end goal right off the way. Right. Yeah. And for you, you were putting so much, so many hours for you. So I think for us, it was just simply putting in the right vehicle, but I feel like for you, you already have the 80%, right. The 80, 20% rule is 80% is like sure. mindset, discipline, and just the commitment that you've had on making this work out is I think ultimately what separated you from the rest. Right. And then my curious, I'm curious, like, what do you feel like, you know, how did you, cause you know, people would join programs and for you, what was the, I guess, like the game changer for you on betting onto yourself? Like, because, you know, not a lot of people could you know, say, Oh, this is, I don't know if this is for me, like, what was the, mindset shift that needed to happen for you to move forward and actually commit on something and make it work out. Yeah. So, um, I think the main thing that really made that happen for me was just spending time alone and realizing that the only person you really have is yourself and there's really no one else to bet on except for yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, you can kind of disappear for a little bit, I don't know, two months and you really find out all you really have is yourself. Yeah. yeah. You got to be able to, to just snap out of that victim mentality Mm -hmm. and stop blaming everything in your life because, because my life is the way it is because of this. My life is the way, you know, Yeah, I had to really just, I had to just grow up. I had to just realize, you know, my parents are not always going to be there. My siblings aren't going to always be there. The only person that can make the life that I personally desire and and want to achieve is myself. And so I just had to be able to just wake up one morning and just tell myself, dude, you just, whatever you've been doing in the past, it's not working. So you just got to snap out of it and make it happen. Mm -hmm. That's just the best way I can put it there for you, dude. Got you, man. Man, that's that's golden right there because, you know, a lot of people just give up when they don't see any results but for you you kept going and kept hammering into it right and you kept showing up and you know and you kept showing up every single day that was one thing i think i've noticed to you was even though you were driving or if you're your your lunch break you're just hopping on the calls and like asking questions which is like okay this guy is truly committed to do this and you know and another thing is i guess now for you like you're in a good offer, right? And then what are some of the challenges that you, you know, you've uh, faced and uh, how did you overcome them? Like trying to get in that offer and then, you know, 
exactly like how did the the program help you i got you okay yeah um so um a variety of things dude so i had to yeah. make the offer that i hopped on it it was a friday that i got accepted and everything mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um sorry it was a monday and we started doing live sessions at five in the morning yeah pacific yeah. time so 5 a.m for me yeah <laughs> so yeah. it was monday that i they, they got me and they got the job and everything and so what i noticed about my offer is that the individuals uh owning this company are very very punctual and mm -hmm. so they said five in the morning meeting time for two hours so five in the morning monday through friday i was there 5 a.m to 7 and then after the meeting ended i went to work at eight all the way to five again so that, I did that for a solid week. And that was one of the main challenges too, is just finding the time to just balance everything all at once. I was going yeah, crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then the following week, uh, they switched the, the meetings and everything to 9 a.m., which was during my work hours. Mm. And I knew for a fact that if I said I couldn't make it, obviously, you know, your first impression is what's most valuable it was valuable and I, right? yeah. I, exactly and so yeah. i knew that if i said sorry i can't make it because i have work i'm going to get kicked off this offer on the spot just like that yeah and so i had to make a decision i had to make a i, I came across this and you I, had to, I have to pay right? run yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. i was in a crossroads and i was stuck in this position and and, and i had i have rent to pay and at the time, you know, dude, I, I only had a certain amount of money in my bank yeah. account. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if all goes downhill, I won't be able to pay my rent. I won't be mm -hmm. able to pay the things that I have to pay um, with other businesses here. I won't be able to um, pay for my groceries and, and things mm -hmm. that, that I need to pay for. I'm on my own right now. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't, I was, I was, I was, I really didn't know what to do. Um, but uh, I contacted my guys during the program and, and genuinely uh, I mm -hmm. asked for help. Mm -hmm. I was, I, I didn't know what to do. I was in a crossroads and I called the guys up and that's one of the main things why I, I really do um, look up to you guys. And not only the program is amazing, the help and everything and, and how to get to where you want to go and the tools are needed or they're absolutely. But the main mm -hmm. thing that I took from you guys, uh, Elijah, Homero, Matt, uh, you guys have all been in the same position. You guys yeah. know exactly what it's like, you know, yeah, and, and yeah. I, I really do. I look up to that dude and yeah. you guys were able to clear my mind and sharpen the vision again. And mm -hmm. it ties down to being, you know, being around the right people yeah. to be able to just show that for you. And so I had to make a decision and it was a sacrifice and it was a, um, it was kind of scary because if it yeah. all went <laughs> bad, busy, then man. I've, exactly and it should be and if it isn't then i don't know <laughs> you know what i mean wouldn't be it's worth telling the story now right it wouldn't be worth telling the story that we're telling right now you know a few weeks exactly. ago. exactly right Ex exactly brother you know exactly yeah so it was a decision i had to make i was in a position where if i didn't if they kicked me off the offer i'm screwed yeah. i had nothing I, it was just one hell of a risk and mm. and so getting rid of my nine to five is what it was getting rid of my nine yeah. to five yeah. the morning yeah. waking up dude yeah you know. i guess what's next now for you man like what's next like i know you're an offer you know may 3400 just two weeks in but i know this is not just this yeah. is the first step like what's the, what's yeah. next for you dude it's just uh obviously keep going up don't yeah. stop um, mm -hmm. but uh, the main thing is just being able to just handle any objection to be able okay. to start hitting nine to 13 K months. So 3,500 yeah. in two weeks, that's, that's great. But I, the next step yeah. for me is just to get myself right physically, mentally. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, because now I have the time and luxury for that. Yeah. So and, now you uh, have, space. now I'm able to, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Space, yeah, go no, right? yeah. It, I went to the same thing, man. I mean, the first three months I was <laughs> on the that's same, really same, same game, literally just waking up, thinking about sales, writing down objections. Hey, can we sure. review this? Like, and then now, okay, eventually everything, the, the, uh, the storm started, you know, going away, right? The, the, the thunderstorm, sure. the rain, you know, the heavy rain started slowing down and okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I could breathe a little bit and then, oh, let's go to the gym again. Oh, let's, you know, get some nice, exactly. you know, a little bit healthier food options, right? 
But yeah. yes, now it's even though like once you land a position, a lot of people forget is you still have some, you know, some uh timeline where you still need to sacrifice a couple more things. Cause it, I would always refer it as like a mountain, right? It's like going up a mountain sure. is not easy, but to get to the mountain is what is satisfying, right? Once you get to the top, yeah. you know you've gone through all those hardships, those trials that you've gone through. And that's yeah. what makes the view worth it. That's what makes it worth it, 100%. right? And a lot of people just want it to become, oh, once I've overcome this portion of a mountain, the next portion should be easy. No, it's completely false. Actually, just get harder, but you just get more tools and more calluses on your mind where you can climb it more, more higher because now you have more tools into your bag, right? So essentially it just yes you know maybe the natural progression is you get more free time and everything like this but you're con you're continuously equipping yourself with you know like the right people you know the right corner that you have in your yourself the skills that you need right you know the right habits those are the things that makes it and I, my last question for you is you know maybe one or two more questions one thing adam sure is, what's i guess like if if someone wants to get into high ticket closing um what would you recommend them? Like, what's the biggest needle mover for you? The biggest needle mover, um, the best, the biggest thing for me was just know what you want to do. Okay. Have a clear vision of what you want to do. Write it down. And then don't tell anybody. Keep it to yourself. Don't tell your parents, don't tell your friends, don't tell anybody. That's that's the best thing I can tell you. When it comes to high ticket sales, you know the whole concept. Say what you're going to say, write it down, keep it to yourself, and then that's it. And then work, and then work, and then work, and then work to just achieve that. Um, that is the biggest needle mover in my experience. Yeah. No one in my family, none of my friends know that I'm on, on a call with you today for this reason. No, none of my family. Yeah. So that is the best needle mover. Just keep it to yourself mm -hmm. and just trust yourself and just bet on yourself. Know what you want and then just start. That's it. 100%. Yeah, man. And no, it's so true uh, because, you know, like the main thing for me as well, right? Is starting off, uh, you've, you've, you've nailed it, right? I mean, why why should you tell it to somebody else like it's your own dream like it's your own decision to make at the end of the day right and yeah. you know essentially it's like what's the point of telling it to other people if you haven't done it yet because what's gonna what else are they gonna add like you're 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 your own self you're the one who fulfills your own dream they're not the one who's gonna live your dream right they're not they're not the one who's gonna fulfill your own goals like why does their opinion yeah. matter right in the first place so you you you've exactly. nailed in the, the spots, man. And last question is if someone, you know, like in terms of the program, like you know, working with us, um, like if someone is, I guess, like on the line to like move forward or even try to see if there might be a right fit to work with us, like what would you tell them? I would tell them forget about what your mind is saying your human instincts. Yeah. You got to really be able to just dig down into yourself and just be, be honest with yourself mm -hmm. and just straight up, just be, be honest by what does the best version of me look like? What does the best version, what would the best version of me right now do in this situation? Mm -hmm. Would he go for the risk? Yeah. Would he take advantage of this or would he just, crumble back into his shell live and keep living the life that he's living i think that is the best thing i just deep down your inner self there's always the best version within you in the back of your mind which is letting me where i am today and i know that there's so much more ahead of me but yeah. that's the best thing i can give to whoever yeah. it comes down to just really being honest with yourself yeah 100 yeah. percent. That that's a banger uh, advice right there but again man i'm so proud of you bro like it's it's been a pleasure working with you you know since day one you know all, all the mock calls we've, you know the mock calls we've done i know we've done a couple and then you know all mm -hmm. of the calls that we've been in and the you know the the 
the interviews, the missed interviews, you know, the sure, the um, it, it just meant to be, dude. Yeah, it's it's just, just meant how to it goes. be, man. Those things are supposed to happen, and now you're here in this situation, right? And then, but the sure, the main thing that I noticed from you is you just kept going, like you you didn't quit on yourself, and even though you're not seeing, you know, at you know a good amount of time, you were struggling and seeing any results, but you kept hammering at it, and you still kept a level-headed mind and you kept showing up and i think that's you know respect yeah. that's essentially that's all you bro like again um it was a pleasure but you know before we hop off this call do you have any last words you want to say to the other guys or yeah dudes it just doesn't matter um doesn't matter what age doesn't matter what mistakes you made everything has happened for a reason yeah uh, i think that's just the main way to best way to just put it um, just don't even stress on it. If you take an L, you take an L and then you move on and get more W's throughout your day. Um, it just, it just starts on stacking your W's. Yeah. It just, the best way to put it is just trust your true instinct, the best version of yourself. What would that best version of yourself look like? What would he do mm -hmm. in your daily life? Trust the process, trust the tools in the program. Um, I doubted them at first. It's just human instinct too. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Just follow through. Um, put in the hours. Put in the work. You can't have any excuses. I didn't have any Wi-Fi. I had to go. Uh, I had I didn't walk. I had to drive across town to a coffee shop and yeah. and do my work. So you have no excuses. You know, quit the negative stuff in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was just listening to a podcast that you know get rid of the things in your life that you don't need just like how you delete apps on your phone yeah, that yeah. you don't use that take up too much storage same thing in your life get mm -hmm. rid of the bad habits get rid of the bad people in your life that are doubting you don't share your goals just keep it to yourself and then just start that's it there you go there you go guys ladies and gents again appreciate you guys tuning in and for you adam appreciate you you know appreciate um, you, dude. betting on us and you know uh work, <laughs> being an opportunity to work with you but that's it um I'll see you guys another one. Peace. See you guys. Um.